I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on compound angle. It is a multiple choice question. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question and answer. Question is, altitude H of the given triangle with base D is what? Four options are given to you. Now in this particular triangle, we are given the angles at the base as alpha and beta and D is the length of the base, we have to find H the height. You may take your time, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now here the situation is that we are given the height which could be written in terms of tan. So we may derive our expression in tan and then we may have to link it with with the sign. So that is another part of it. Now to solve this, it will be, uh, let's see, uh, we can start with this alpha 1 triangle and we can say what is tan alpha equals to? So tan alpha is equals to h over, let us say this side is x, okay, so is h over x. And we can write tan beta as equal to h over if this is x, then that becomes d minus x, right? Now, in this formula, there is no x here. So, the idea is somehow eliminate x from our equation, right? So, that could be one way of looking at it. So, let's try to figure it out how to do this. So, let me flip this. Now, this is a neat technique of doing. So, we could actually flip and then write what 1 over tan alpha is. So you can write 1 over tan alpha as x over h and here I can write 1 over tan beta as d minus x over h. Is it okay? Now x over h is 1 over tan alpha so I could substitute this value there and so what I get here is that 1 over tan beta is equal to, we can split this as d over h minus x over h. So instead of x over h, I will write 1 over tan alpha. Does it make sense to you, right? So I'm writing 1 over tan alpha instead of minus, I mean minus is retained, x over h. Correct? So now we can actually isolate h. So that is the most important part. So uh, bringing it here, we get uh, we get, uh, let me start from here because, yeah, so let me use this space. So we have d over h is equal to, taking it to this side, 1 over tan alpha plus 1 over tan beta. Correct? Now we can take the common denominator and then write tan alpha tan beta. And here they get cross multiplied, so we get tan beta plus tan alpha. Right, and now if I flip it, I know what h is. So h is equals to, now here we have d, well, we can take d in the denominator, and uh, we will just flip it. So we have tan alpha tan beta over, uh, we can write this as tan alpha plus tan beta. Correct? So that is how we have kind of written our expression. Now we have to actually get it in the form of sine alpha sine beta. So what we can do is that tan is sine over cosine. Correct? This is sine over cosine. So let's write them in terms of sine and cosine. So, so we could write this as sine alpha times sine beta. So we know sine alpha sine beta is coming on the top. D can be multiplied with it, not a problem. So all this over cos alpha cos beta, right? So over cos alpha cos beta. Uh, so uh, I'm just thinking about the space. Anyway, so we could also write this cos alpha cos beta here, right? And then we'll multiply by this or okay so so this cos alpha cos beta instead of writing like this let me write as 
cos alpha times cos beta. I'm just squeezing it in. And what we have here is tan alpha, which is sine alpha over cos alpha, right? Plus tan beta, which is sine beta over cos beta. Does it make sense to you, right? Now, this is an interesting way of writing. Since when I open this up, I'll get the formula of sine A plus B. So, so let's see. Uh, let me push this page a bit here. So we can write this as, now I'll write this as H equals to, take D on this side. See, D times, we have the numerator, which is sine alpha sine beta. And in the denominator, when you open this, with the first term, cos alpha gets cancelled. So we have sine alpha cos beta. Plus, in this part, cos beta gets cancelled, right? So we get cos alpha sine beta, which is sine alpha plus beta, right? So, so we get option A as the correct option, right? So the denominator is of the form sine alpha plus beta, correct? So that is how actually you can do this question. So I hope it helps you to understand how to solve this kind of a question. Thanks for watching. If you like and subscribe my video, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.